but he, he's brought me too far. Yes, yes. yes. To give up. Yes. And last weekend, I couldn't get up out of the bed. Mm -hmm. But my grandmother said that everybody was praying for me, and she was on the prayer line. Mm -hmm. It's all right, guys. I could walk. I said, I didn't pick up my Bible once. Come on, now. And I had to stop, and I had to thank God. Because mm -hmm. I can walk, I yeah. can run, and I can move, and I'm still on my right mind. Yes! Yeah. All right. Tell it, baby. Tell it. God is good. Sometimes we don't take the time and say thank you for the simple yes. things. Yes. Yes. Right. Until God, God has his own way of slowing us down and yes. showing us what he's capable of and what he does do for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank that's all right. Back at Mount Mount Zion, I hadn't heard these songs. And I said, I know what I'm supposed to do, because I was going to call Vicky and say I couldn't make it. But I said, I'm going to do this. I said, if I have to sit up there in the chair, I'm going to do this. Right. And I, but That's the devil's trying right. to tell That's me right. I can't do it. Right. But I'm here right. today and I'm standing. Yeah. And I can move my arm and I yeah. can shout. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I, I just got to thank him. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Spirit. Mm. Spirit. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and try. <laughs> I'm going to let the Spirit take over. Amen. 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 The text today that I'm reading from is Ephesians 6, 1 through 4. Children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord. For this is the right thing to do. Honor your father and your mother. All right. If you honor your father and your mother, things will go well for you. And you will have a long life on the earth. That's right. Fathers. Do not provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them. Rather, bring them up in the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I did some research. and uh, I know in the Bible when things are important, it's sometimes repeated. Uh-huh. And I found that this is one of the commandments in Exodus 20 and 12. Yeah. It's the third commandment. But it's the first commandment with a promise. Uh -huh. Tell it. Hey, tell it. Yeah. All right. Starting in verse 3, it says, if you honor your father and mother, mm -hmm. things will go well for you. Hey. And you will live a long life on earth. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. So I did a little more research. And I said, right. I found it three times. All That's right. as far as I can find it. Mm -hmm. And that was in Exodus 20 and 12, Ephesians 6, 1 through 4, and Deuteronomy 5 and 16. Mm -hmm. right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. The right. number three uh -huh. represents the signature of God. Mm -hmm. yes. As in miracles, uh -huh. Jesus rose on the third day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The three wise men saw that song. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's so right. That's right. That's right. So uh, <laughs> God's signature means it's fine. Yeah. That means there's no way to work around it. You, you just got to do it. That's one of the things. One of the words in the scripture was honor. And the definition is to fulfill the terms of a showing of unusually merit to respect or one whose worth brings forth respect or fame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we should respect our parents. And I, I know it's hard. I, I, I deal with I, Oh my gosh, that's something I struggle with myself. But if you lean on the Lord, it's, it's a, you able to do it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. To provoke is to incite anger to stop purposely. Mm -hmm. Another word that I saw as a synonym for this word was peak, I believe it's pronounced, which is a transit feeling of wounded vanity or resentment. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Remember that, I'm gonna come back to it. Okay. <laughs> God is what you call an omniscient art our creator, mm -hmm. according to the English literature. Mm -hmm. Omniscient means having infinite awareness, understanding, and insight, possessed of universal or complete knowledge. Mm -hmm. God knows it all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, don't try and hide anything. God knows it all. He knew you when you was in the womb. Mm -hmm. There's no way around. Omnipotence, I believe it's pronounced, is possessing complete, unlimited, or universal power and authority. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what more can I say? <laughs> God is. Yes, God is. Yes, God is. Yes, God is. Omnipresence, continuous, and simultaneously <coughs> present throughout the whole creation. Right. Present or seemingly present throughout the whole creation. Yes. Okay, I said those three words because way before our creation, God was aware that parents, in particular fathers, might provoke their children in various ways. When fathers provoke their children <laughs> and said in the word, they anger them, which in most cases, if not, leads into resentment. Mm -hmm. As I pointed out, peak is a transition feeling of wounded vanity and resentment, which usually leads to hatred, mm -hmm. which is not of God. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no. Resentment, yeah, leads to hatred. So even though sometimes our fathers, the father figures are not around, are not doing as much as we want, mm -hmm. we still have to respect them and accept them. Amen. It's one of those things we have to pray about and let God deal with it. Because the hatred and the pain you're carrying around, it's not hurting them. It's hurting you. It's weighing you down. That's baggage you don't need. So I said this because how many times have we said about God, if he doesn't do anything else, he's already done enough. Sometimes, if we could take that attitude towards the father figures, mm -hmm. things would be much easier. Yeah. We wouldn't stress as much. Right. We wouldn't feel as bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That's all right. We need to be grateful that God allowed our father figures to be vessels to create us. Right. Mm -hmm. Because then we can become vessels for God. Because we are all made in God's image, when we did when we dishonor or disrespect our parents, we're disrespecting God as well. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. So we need to take the time and think and make better choices right. as far as how we treat one another. How we love one another. Yeah. Because we never know it could be somebody's breaking point. That's right. Mm. That's right. Or you could be the one to save somebody. Amen. Amen. They always say a smile goes a long way. Sure yeah. I've had them days where I felt like when then they was going right and somebody smiled at me. <laughs> and everything turned around. Yeah. I seen the sun shining. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm coming to an end, but uh, I just want to look back at Jesus. He always went to God in prayer. That's right. He had to check with God, is this okay? And once God gave him that word, he was obedient to it. Right. And Jesus prayed wherever he was. Jesus was ashamed. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so. Uh, Jesus always started out his prayers, Father, if thy be thy will. Mm -hmm. So we need to know that God is omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent. Mm -hmm. Man, that he already knows what we need, but sometimes we got to ask. And you can stop and pray anywhere. If you at work, you can pray. If you at school. You can pray. That's right. And they gotta let everybody know what you're doing. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You just pray. That's right. That's right. 
And with omnipotence, he controls everything. Yes, he does. Just because you want something don't mean it's going to happen that way. God has a way and a time for everything. So you might not feel like he's doing it right, but he's always on time. Thank you. Thank you.